Hello, Hawkman here. Just wanted to show some of my junk that I've carved here lately. It's winter time. I got a flea market this weekend. Gordyville, Illinois. I usually do pretty good over there. But everything's slow everywhere. There's some beaver tails that I'm going to make nice sheets out of. <laughs> I picked these up a year ago. Haven't done anything with them yet. Beaver skulls. There's one of my axes. It's got an elk leg bone. A flint piece of flint made here for the axe head. Back here is one of my war clubs. This is elk jawbone with the teeth in it. Pretty interesting. Nice piece of flint nap blade on there. I got the sinew wrapped. I'm not done with it yet. I'm going to put some good raw hide here on the back here for the handle. I'm not going to decorate it with any feathers or anything or beads. I'm just going to leave it like it is. There's a nice little piece here. It's got a wolf with a wolf paw print. Nice piece of flint there on the end. Nice little piece. There's one here. Does have the end piece of an elk jawbone. A nice obsidian blade. This is Shane Reed out of Utah. There's an eagle here. Got a line around him. I'm not done with him yet. Thinking about putting glass eyes in him. He's got a nice piece of obsidian. Whoa, got a little too much there. Really nice flint in that piece. There's another nice. This is all kind of, I don't know what they actually call it, but it's kind of a, a smoke when you hold it up to the light. It's got light gray inside. looks like smoke. They might call it smoke obsidian, but I don't know. This was one of my eagles. And I do. This is a piece of elk. There's one of my little eagles with glass eyes. This is an elk tip. Got a piece of mahogany, obsidian in it. Nice little arrowhead. Another piece of obsidian. This is just a deer antler. It does have arrowhead carved in it and if I can pick it up without messing up here it has an Indian head penny on the end 1906 or 1896 wow I was wrong 1896 older than what I thought Here's one of my eagles here. I'm still working on this one. I got to do a bunch of buffing on that brown. I did use shoe polish on this one. Some people say they don't like that, but it holds on pretty good. Thinking about doing glass eyes on him too to show off. He's got a nice obsidian piece in the, for the blade. There's one here. I sold several of these handles on eBay. The double eagle. He's got just a nice gray flint nap piece. Got an eagle on this side. I'll turn him over. Got another eagle there. I did burn these. I don't like burning too much, but just to add a little character to it. There's another beautiful piece, and all that's carved on here is just an arrowhead right there, kind of curved. And I have found them curved, so I don't know. You know, it's according to the piece of flint that they used. There's a beautiful, beautiful flint napped arrowhead on the end, or a knife blade, I guess. It's not an arrowhead, it's a knife blade. Beautiful colors in him. I'm focusing in too much. But anyway, there he is. And the other side's just plain white. I didn't carve anything on him. I should have, but I didn't. 
I like the end cap. I like that piece. But there he is. He's just a nice, nice knife. I have a hard time keeping these boogers. They usually sell pretty fast. But there they are. Fun stuff. Can you imagine how much that old boy there is chewed? Boy or girl, I don't know what he was. It's an elk. But it's fun. There's some rawhide back there that I'm getting ready to cut up. Use on some of my tomahawks and my... Okay, I guess that's all I got to say. It is winter time. Like I said, flea market this weekend. I don't have any powwows. Lima, Ohio is coming up here in February. It's usually a nice, it's a small one, but it's usually real nice. Don't think I'm going to set up, but we are going to go. Hopefully. Hopefully, if there's not too much snow. Okay, y'all. I've bugged you enough. I'll see ya. Bye.